Is everyone here? Yes. Hi again. Nice to see everybody. Um, I think I failed to introduce myself to some of you during our discussions, but a big thank you to all of our six uh, finalist competitors. I am Megan Panzano. I'm secretary of the Roach Board um, and also serve on the Roach Committee. Um, I'm also a member of the faculty at Harvard Graduate School of Design. And I just want to start by presenting a little bit about the Roach Prize that you all have just participated in. Um, the Roach Prize was founded in 1883. It's the oldest architectural traveling scholarship in the U.S., um, a rigorous two-stage design competition process for Massachusetts designers, so anyone in Massachusetts who was educated or practicing in the area. Um, and the jury each year selects a winner and a runner-up in case the, the winner cannot travel. Uh, and the runner-up would get a kind of pass directly to the final if the winner um, does not uh, take that up. So on behalf of the Roach Board and the Roach Committee, um, comprised of architectural educators from among many of our distinct Boston area schools, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's here. Um, I also have to begin that thanks with a big thanks to Patricia Olshan from the BSA. Without um, her organized stewardship of this, I think our world would stop spinning. So thank you so much, Patricia, for everything. Um, and also a special thanks to the jury for the final competition um, and Michelle LaBoy, who is the author of our final competition brief, brief. If you'd like to introduce the jury, that would be great. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, thank you, Megan, and thank you, Patricia. Um, I, um, I'm Michelle LaBoy. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Architecture at Northeastern and a principal at Field Workshop in here in Boston. I'm very pleased to introduce our jury. Uh, who I'm very thankful for, uh, the very um, incredible conversation we just uh, shared. So I'll go in the order of my boxes here. Uh, Jason Ewhurst is a principal at Bruner Cott Architects, which is a firm very well known for their work in transformative um, reuse, um, provided a great voice on that, on that part of this brief. Uh, we had Anna Housie from University of Chicago as a lecturer and from the uh, practice Architecture for Public Benefit, who um, also brings a strong voice in issues of affordability, affordable housing and um, public benefit. And then we have Francisco Colom Hoover, who is a, um, an architect at Mass Design that leads many of the affordable housing projects in this area and uh, described by some of the principals there as a leading voice in housing in this, um, in this very, very remarkable practice. Um, so, and of course, Megan introduced herself. She was also part of the jury. So thank you all for your insights and incredible collaboration in this process and congratulations to all of you for the incredible work you put together. Um, I am especially thankful for the thoughtfulness with which you responded to a brief that I recognized was challenging, but also full of ambition for what we have uh, as challenges for the future of architectural practice. So thank you all. Um, so we will start with some comments about each of the projects um, from we, each of our Jury members will, will, will share them some thoughts. And we will go in the order that the commentary will be provided in the order in which you present it. Thanks, Michelle. So I'll start with Daniel. Daniel, thanks so much for your presentation today. The jury um, was incredibly impressed with um, your presentation and your drawings. We thought it was incredibly well represented and just, you know, exquisitely drawn. So we really appreciated that. Um, we also loved your approach in the design and how with the very limited means you achieved maximum impact, um, removing very little of the existing building, but completely reconfiguring it so it became something entirely new. Um, in, in terms of the, the massing and the um, reskinning strategy, there was a boldness there, um, thinking about 
um, how you can reconsider, reskin the building and reconsider the materialities that are being, the materials that are being introduced into the project. Um, so overall, we thought it was a very thoughtful approach um, from uh, an adaptive reuse perspective. And then also the philosophy and the narrative that you presented was um, extremely compelling. So Daniel, thank you so much for the work that you presented today. Thank you. So next, Francisco. Um... Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, Stephanie, for your thoughtful, brave, and meaningful proposal. I'm going to go through some, some thoughts from the jury discussion. Um, the social agenda of the project is brave and is very bold and is very relevant today. The drawings are very clear and communicate the ideas on their own. I think representation and design really work together. The, the proposal adds density to the site without feeling like it's too much. Um, so it's the right scale. And it's also the right scale for the domestic unit, which learns from the modularity existing in the building. Um, in terms of memory and continuity, these two resonate with the project. Um, there is a, a, again, a compelling narrative around defining the, the unit. And also it was highlighted that the spatial reskinning achieved with the ribbon is very successful, both internally and externally. Um, finally, I think the urban strategy respects the neighborhood and provides a, a new bold identity was also some of the highlights from the discussion. And there is close attention to the existing buildings, but also there is a proposed new form with its own identity and attention. So overall, just a very thoughtful and brief proposal. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, thank you, uh, Ian, uh, for your proposal. And uh, you know, the highlights and takeaways from the jury were we were just blown. You know, really enjoyed the the the, the specificity and, and careful nature that you crafted uh, your your story around and your architecture around human and uh, humans and plants and coming together through that habitat together. Um, a couple other notes, thinking um, how you might reconstitute um, some of the historic structure into new um, and thinking about the steps of how you would sequence that and, you know, really appreciating the level of specificity. I think you have the way we were, you know, you, you asked us to think through how you thought through the sequence of space, thinking all the way down to the people you were designing for. And, and having that expand to the community. So it's sort of balancing those perspectives from very close to also thinking about a neighborhood um, was uh, came through in the discussion and also it came through in your presentation and also feeling um, that you, you had a real, you, you understood how, um, you really understood how you wanted to manipulate the historic structure, but then also have an identity for the new architecture. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Matt Moffitt, for your proposal, Observe, Care, and Assemble, which the jury felt um, really um, celebrated the value of a kind of close read and observation of both place and space in your scheme. Um, another incredible aspect of what you shared with us in your presentation today was the way that you directed environmental concerns to choreograph and address um, social and cultural conditions that uh, felt very appropriate and suited to site through your close observation of the of the place. Um, additionally, we were really um, inspired by the boldness of the scheme that borrowed from a kind of infrastructural scale language of the surroundings and the site, um, but used that as a um, with a gable and a kind of uh, super size shed. Um, use that to mediate and translate down to um, scale of domestic units. So um, really strong scheme that uh, we were really happy to hear you share uh, the care and sort of passion that was very evident in everything that you presented with today with this jury. Thanks. Thank you, Megan. Uh, and, and next, uh, Eugene, uh, the, the, the jury uh, was, uh, really appreciated the way that you thought through sort of just thinking about how you could meld both architectures together through 
through history of old and then thinking about new and thinking about how that might weave itself. Um, also, um, we really appreciated the level of depth that you got into on sort of the economics of how this might actually work, like how it might come together and, and understanding some of the touch points in the chain of how sort of subsidies might come together and make, you know, really bring a project like this and make it into a reality. That was, uh, that was a really, you know, it was already a very ambitious uh, brief and then you sort of brought in these other notes, which was really quite uh, wonderful. Um, also, I think the the the, the thinking about trans the, the connection to the transportation and the wider community that came across in your in your in your proposal, um, um, and uh, felt that that was something that you could see it kind of thread through the thinking. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, and um, Julia, um, I'll speak about the thoughts from the jury on your project, which had a very compelling narrative, uh, we thought with a very strong social and economic agenda that was weaving knowledge economies and physical labor economies. Um, the project had also a place specificity and a really beautiful approach to material strategies. We appreciated the attentiveness to Boston climate, the way in which your project broke down the scale to negotiate this, the scale of the urban context and really lovely ideas about registering the memory of the structure with very specific techniques of demolition that would leave rebars, delicate screens, and an approach to reskinning re that created design, um, designed with shadow and light as a, as a kind of medium. The jury also thought your organizational walls really spatialized the narrative and created new centers and new edges and new narratives. And they celebrated how your work so effectively worked at two scales, zooming all the way out to the site plan with a really uh, interesting Nolly map that anticipated future densification and projected into the future, which added another dimension to the, the theme of continuance. And simultaneously working at the unit scale where details like stairs and landings were spaces where the social program of your uh, project was intended to thrive. And then different interior renderings that really gave a very powerful sense of this um, this type of space, a form of living that you that you imagined. So thank you so much for a great uh, a great project. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, so um, it was not an easy decision. It took us a little extra deliberating, but I, I you know want to congratulate all of you for an excellent excellent job um, and so we're going to announce the runner-up and the and the uh, winner of this year with the um addition you probably know this but the the, the runner-up would uh, be invited to come back for next year's competition directly to the final without going through the preliminary so uh, this year's runner-up is julia schubeck congratulations julia and the winner of the 2023 Roach competition is Stephanie Lloyd. <laughs> Congratulations. Very, very excited for you. Um, and thank you to all of you competitors. Um, we, we hope that you come back to a future year competition. Um, we have a history of a few people who have done this a few times and have eventually won. So Stephanie, we look forward to working with you on your planning your journey. Thank you so much. And I just want to say like, I admire all of my fellow finalists so much. I was so pleased to see this list. And I know that you guys will like do great things and please continue because and you all, I was so shocked. You guys are amazing. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. It's late. It's <laughs> late here in London. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, thanks for hanging with us. I know you're joining from a different location, but I, I just want to say congratulations to all six to reinforce what Michelle shared. It was not easy. You you gave us a lot to think about, uh, turn the volume up on different motivations for responses to this fantastic brief. Um, you know, really compelling schemes all around. So just one big round of applause to everyone and a big thanks for efforts. Um, absolutely fantastic work. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, and thank you, Michelle, for giving us all, you know, the incredible uh, prompt to respond to and talk about this afternoon. It was fantastic. So, um, thank you so much. yeah, thanks. Uh, thank you all. Have a great evening or super evening, depending on where you are, um, and we'll be in touch. But, um, you know, really just a, an incredible group all around for, for this year's competition. So congrats to all. And thanks thank again, you. Patricia. Welcome. <laughs> Congratulations. And thank you, everyone. And thanks to the jury again. Much, much uh, thankful. All right. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats.